know what? You're giving Davis high praise by, I mean, that's the high, you're saying he's the face of the sport. Um, what do you, what, what can, what's your thoughts now on your guy, you guys had that back and forth at the weigh in and it, how do you want to address that Bernard? You know, if at I mean, all. you can look at, you can look at the video and you can see as uh, Steve Espinosa, who's well known in boxing showtime um, approach me um, at the fights and said he heard that I was really trying to tell the guys, this is Stephen quote, I, Espinosa, I heard that Bernard was trying to stop them from being actually pushed towards the edge of the stage, which is six feet more of a drop of a fall. And it was passed the two strips of tape that the commissions had put there. Once they on the scale, they go to the three feet up front. They now with these strips of tape, they stare at each other. They look at the cameras to get their picture. The crowd is going crazy. But when the stage get filled because it was a breach, I was told, but you can see it was a breach. The stage is packed. You had the majority of tank people up there. Then you had half of, of, of the number of tanks people on this side because they complained that they couldn't get in or all the guys couldn't get up on stage. The stage is literally, there's no room on stage, so it's packed. The commission on my left side, one of the commissioners was saying, you know, if you're in front of me and it's two strips of tape on the stage, that's where they're going to be at after they get on the scale and they, you know, face off, look at the cameras and hopefully there's no back and forth. Everything was great. Boom, boom. But of course, the main event, that's what you anticipating. Security up front, where they need to be, supposed to be. So now you have Ryan, you have Tank. They're getting ready. They get on the scale. Now both guys have made the weight. Now they are, now the stage is full. Within sharply two minutes, Literally, I can't watch the back and watch the front. We got security. I got my security. Oscar got his security. Oscar's up there to my left. I'm in between the two ropes in the middle with a scale. <laughs> the standoff. We have uh, the promoter from PBC, uh, Tom Moreno. He's um, in the middle, right? C correct. So now you got, and I, I'm, I'm looking around and I'm, Look and see how packed this stage is. Like, how the hell, from what we was told, that everybody's going to be let up here? Okay. Did we anticipate it? Yes. It's not our show. We're not the head. We don't have control. It is what it is. But I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready for whatever. So when I'm asked to, I'm looking. I'm already aware, based on stage being not at not four at the time, and I see Davis pointing at Ryan, Ryan pointing at him. They sort of like this. Now, it's normally not the fighters. Yes, some occasions they might throw a punch or something. I'm not worrying too much worrying about that because I know both of these guys understand how big this fight is. They don't want to blow it that way. But it's the outside people. It's the people that is there for whatever reason. And the stage is packed. Now we're moving up front. The tapes, you can't see no more. They pass the tape. That's on the floor, on a, on a rug. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so, so now I see this because I'm aware. Way before I got that crowd. I spin around. Right? I don't, Mike Tyson is there. Everybody's, okay, all right. I, literally, Mike Tyson's shoulder went up like this. I went past him. So I couldn't go too far around. It would have been too late. I would have to go around eight people because they blocked the whole. Mike Tyson looks like the promoter. 
basically, I'd slid right into, I'd boom, before he even turned around and react, I was already passing. He was behind me. I'm telling the coach. Coach Calvin. The tra- I'm telling him. I'm telling him. Tell him uh, the, the stage. I want to send you, when we get done, the video that the commission's got. Because they was trying to not have me at the fight, period. And not be in the ring. I mean, I don't think I intimidated anybody that much. They was hoping when they heard he put his hands on him. I don't know if you heard that rumor or this or that. The, the coach the Hold on, no, wait a minute. Oh, wait yeah. a minute, please. Wait a minute. Because I want this. I hope this is live. If it's not, then you got to put it out there like it is. Right? Like, like it is. I'm going to send you this video that killed all of them. The video is actually saying, you hear me clear. Watch the edge. Yo, watch the edge. Calvin is looking at me, talking about man over I'm like, yo, I'm telling them, pointing down. You got me pointing out. Watch the edge. Watch the edge. Y'all close to the edge. Now I'm close to Tank. I tapped him on his arm. Hey, yo, watch this. Then he went, and I get it. You know how many times I looked at everybody that's with the fighter is my enemy? I don't like nobody. So I'm not expecting him to, 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 to like me, to speak nice to me, but the, they was looking for a violation for me to give them something to exclude my presence. It was already talked about, planned about, and how we was going to counter punch it, basically. It was my team. I got my separate security team. I got my separate assistant. The company I'm with to have their own. Oscar had his own. I briefed my security on everything. My situation is different than Oscar's. And someone would say, what do you mean by that? It's different. They look at me different. It could be look at me in a different way of a threat in certain ways. It could be look at me in a different way of, hey, nobody's going to bully Bernard Hopkins. Ain't nobody's going to come and tell me what I don't know because I've been through it. So how do we exclude him out of sight, out of mind? We find a way to keep him out of the arena. They can't do that. He haven't violated the arena. Now, if they own it, Al Heyman or whoever, PBC, I wouldn't have been in the arena. It couldn't go that far. And they had no merit. The lie or the self-diffusion deceit became what? Made me look like a, a really like he really saved a disaster, possibly. Only because the commissioner said Bernard get to here. Just in case. Don't let him go past that line because that's closer to the edge. That killed everything. They killed all the, yeah, we got something we can use. You know, we can go to the commissioner. Hey, we don't want him in the stadium. Uh, we, we can't. That's making them look good. God damn, what do we do? Well, we try to find something. Wait, maybe, maybe, maybe we can keep him out of the ring. We don't want to, maybe we want to keep him out of the ring, keep him out of the ring. You know, his presence. His presence might make, you know, Tank might overreact and want to prove something like the clip. Who knows? You got to think of all these things. True, not true theories. I just need you to see if it makes sense or not. Not to be biased on either side. To say, huh, you know what? That's something I would have done. <laughs> Whether it helps you or hurts you, that's something I would have done. So these is the shenanigans. that I expect 
that I already planned for and already was approaching it by any means necessary. So this, that, that, listen, it's been a long week for me, but it hasn't been an unusual week in my 28 year career. Everything that I'm experiencing now on that end, either I've been a part of it on this side or I've been a part of it on that side or I've been a part of it at both. You gotta remember, it was 10 years plus that I was promoting myself and still fighting as the athlete and the business. I had to juggle those things without disrespecting each side or unrepresenting each side. Each side has to get represented without a conflict of interest, correct? Mm -hmm. I'm not bragging, but I think I deserve a little credit for it. I think I did all right financially and career-wise. Absolutely. I had some help along the way, but at the end of the day, I had to make those these, these tough decisions the way I felt that was needed. And that's how I protect myself going into this fight way before I land in Vegas, is to have my own security, my own briefing. Of course, my security brief with Oscar security, because they got to be on the same page. How you think we come in the same time, just not in the same car? Is there, is there anything you want to like say to, to Davis and, and Coach Calvin Ford though? Um, because that's the last time you interacted with them was that that back and forth. And Coach Calvin Ford was even uh, worried about you rubbing testosterone cream on the back. And you know, you and Tank were letting each other know we're both we're both cut from that cloth. And just yeah, it, it, yeah. I didn't hear that. They was worried about me rubbing. I I don't have. <laughs> I'm 58 years old. I have some testosterone. I'll keep it for my damn self before I go ahead and rub on someone. Why would I? Why would I give that away? That's gold. I'm 58 years old, pushing 59 in January. If I had some testosterone of anything, why would the hell I waste it by rubbing on somebody back? I got a lot of other things I can rub it on, and I'm gonna rub it on that. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? Are you just joking? No, no. Are you really, this really? This really happened. Coach, Coach, Coach Calvin. Was, they said that for real that it's possibly I can rub some testosterone on somebody's back to maybe make him test positive after the fight for something. And a fifty-year-old man wouldn't keep that gold liquid for me. Wow, <laughs> they giving me too much damn credit. You are the master of the art of war, Bernard. So people don't I understand you. They think the you're art capable of, of any length. I'm guilty, I'm guilty of charge when it comes to the art of war. And That's the your rep catching up with you. But 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 let me tell everybody out there in the world right now, and I really mean this. If any time y'all think that I would give that liquid gold to somebody's back, and I can use it for my own comfortable uh, 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 satisfaction, then you're a damn fool. No, I wouldn't have done that. I didn't do that. And it wasn't the case. 